Kiddos, do you sometimes get bent out of shape but don't understand why you're feeling this way? That's because our emotions can be really hard to recognize. So let's get our feelings under control with another Wellness 101 Junior. Presented by St. Luke's Pediatrics. Kids, our feelings can... Hey, Welby. What's the matter, buddy? That's okay, pal. I know it may not feel like it, but what you're going through is completely normal. Well, that's because sometimes our emotions can be really hard to understand. You see, kids, our feelings can be tricky. Knowing how to identify them and control them is a very powerful skill to learn, even for adults. To control them or regulate them means you're processing your emotions properly. How do we do that? Well, first we need to take a peek at your brain. Our brains have many different parts that do many different jobs. Today, we'll be focusing on the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. Your amygdala is where you feel your emotions, and your prefrontal cortex is where you make smart decisions. Your amygdala is interesting in the fact that it doesn't think, it just reacts. As a matter of fact, most of the time, it overreacts, and that's why we need our prefrontal cortex to help us calm down and make smart decisions. To help make things easier, we can put our emotions into four different zones. We call these zones the Zones of Regulation. The green zone is when you're at your best, when you're feeling happy, focused, calm, and proud. When we're in the green zone, we're ready to learn, work, and play. The yellow zone is when we're feeling overwhelmed, worried, frustrated, silly, or excited. Yellow means we're overstimulated and unfocused, but not completely out of control yet. And then there's the blue zone. This is the zone where we feel tired, sad, hurt, bored, or sick. The blue zone makes us feel down and also unfocused. And lastly is the red zone. Danger, danger, danger. It's okay, kids. It's just the red zone. This is where our amygdala goes into overdrive. We feel angry, terrified, really sad, or just plain cuckoo. When we're in the red zone, the amygdala is the boss, and it makes calming down really, really hard. That's why the zones of regulation are so important. They help us identify what we're feeling and give us the ability to take control. Using a calming strategy can work wonders here. Calming strategies send messages to your prefrontal cortex that we need help to guide us back to the green zone. There are a ton of great calming strategies that you can use depending on your situation, like dance it out, squeezing a stress ball, listening to calming music, or watching funny videos, just to name a few. My personal favorite calming strategy is something called box breathing because it can literally be done anywhere, at any time, and you can repeat it as many times as needed to help you calm down. Come on, gang, let's help Welby here box breathe. To box breathe, take a breath in for four seconds. Now hold that breath for another four seconds. Next, exhale that breath for four seconds. Lastly, hold your lungs empty for another four seconds. Repeat that process as many times as you need until you feel yourself sliding back into the green zone. Feel better, buddy? You better. I figured you might, pal. Kids, I know there are some days when you're just not gonna feel like yourself. But remember, the zones of regulation will not only help you feel better, but will help others understand how you're feeling. Find out what zone you're in and use your favorite calming strategy to help you feel more like yourself again. Until next time, this is Mr. Wellness and Welby saying be well and follow the steps to a healthier you.